After what felt like months now, I am back again with a new video. For those who are new, and there are many of you, my name's Amber. I play on the official international Ragnarok online server, Chaos. And today, I have a video to show you how you can play on the official international Ragnarok online servers from anywhere in the world. Uh, for some reason, they've blocked certain countries from playing on the official international servers. <laughs> I don't know why, but with a VPN, you can play from anywhere in the world. So I'm going to show you how to find the game to download, how to install, set everything up, make a new account, and get a free VPN running so that you can play from any country in the world. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you every single step to get you playing Ragnarok online officially in 2023. All right, first things first, let's download the game. So just hop on Google, International Ragnarok Online, search first result iro.ragnarokonline.com so we're gonna go here and we're on this website i know there's a lot to see this is the warp portal website i guess even though it's titled ragnarok online just go to game and ragnarok original ragnarok all right so now you should be at renewal playragnarok.com so you're going to scroll down to the bottom here it says download game download you don't need to log in or anything you can just download the game so let's get it started while we do everything else so free client download just click the little angeling and click your download uh, it's very small because now it's going to start the, the downloading. Uh, let's see. Where do I? I guess I want the destination of my downloads. So next. And yeah, it's got two gigs. So you're going to let this do its thing. So while you're downloading, let's make an account. So I'm going to go to register and you're going to create a new warp portal account so i'm going to enter the email i just made protonmail.me uh, yep that's correct all right and make your password put in your personal info um i'll skip until after i put this in okay i made the account i did run into an issue though uh, as you can see i got this notice that flash is no longer supported etc etc which yes we know that why does warp portals website still use flash why have they not fixed this I'm using Google Chrome, which is a very popular web browser, and the fact that I could not create an account using Google Chrome is a problem. So I switched to Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer, and I was able to do it that way. So here is what it should look like. If you run into the issue, just go to uh, Microsoft Edge and just make an account that way and switch back. I hate Microsoft Edge, so, but we sent a verification code to your email. Apparently I don't have it yet, but we can check on our downloader and that is finished. So we're going to launch, hit next, accept the terms, next, next, install. We're gonna let it do its thing and we're going to try to log in here. So I'm going to try to log in and I'll let you know how that goes. 
Okay, I was able to log in. So the only thing you need to verify your email for is if you want to do the power up. So you can use real money to buy warp portal points, which you can convert to Kafra points, which you can buy cash shop items in the game. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, but that's an option if you kind of want to get a jump start in the game. You can definitely do that. Uh, I'm going to go back to my install here. And oh, wow. So we're ready to launch the game already. Do that because now the game needs to patch. Uh, and it's going to do this right here. It's going to take a while. Uh, so we've made our account. Uh, the... We need to make a game account. So you need to do that through the website also. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, so you want to go to the account information page. Don't worry, this is all fake information. This is an email I'm going to get rid of after today. Uh, but you're gonna go to game accounts here and you want to make a new game account. So Ragnarok online account, click here and enter your info, your game account. It's going to be like the username you use to log in when you actually launch the game. Same with the password here. So go ahead, do that. I'll be back in a second. Okay, all done. Would you believe that in Google Chrome, I couldn't add a game account because I was getting that same error again. So you'll probably need to switch to Microsoft Edge to do that also. Um, I guess we're just gonna use this uh, Warp Portal website on Microsoft Edge from here on because clearly the website sucks. So we have our game account. So this is what I will use to log into the game. Let's see how our patching is doing. We're still patching. So while that's doing that, we are going to set up our VPN. Proton Mails Proton VPN is what we're going to be using as our free VPN. I use this all the time since I live in Japan. Uh, it lets me access certain websites in the United States. So go to protonvpn.com, scroll down here, free VPN, free version, and get Proton VPN free. And here, you're going to have to make a Proton Mail account anyway. So if you have not done that, go ahead and do that now. If you already have an account here, I already have an account, sign in. And then I'll be back in a second. Okay. <laughs> Always issues. So for some reason, it wasn't letting me use my email that I just made for Proton Mail. So I used another email and that worked. So do whatever works for you, I guess. Uh, it just wouldn't let me use my uh, Proton Mail e email. So here is the free, you get one VPN connection and it only lets you access three countries, but of those three countries you have, I think it's the Netherlands, the US and Japan. So US and Japan are the only two that matter, am I right? <laughs> so continue with free. Okay, we're ready to download. So you'll select your platform that you'll download on. I'm assuming for most people it's going to be Windows. So click download. And I believe you just click this here, download Proton VPN, and there you go. Uh, it's gonna install like an app on your computer, I guess. So that's done. Click. Yes. I think I might already have it on my computer. So, uh, uh, maybe I don't. Hmm. So you're going to go through the motions to install this. Let's check on our Ragnarok online patcher. Oh, it's done. <laughs> um, What's bizarre is, uh, even though I'm in Japan, 
I'm not getting any issues in logging into my United States like uh, based account. So I haven't needed to use the VPN yet, but you may have to. Uh, but go ahead, log into your VPN and get that working. I'll be back in a second. All right, and I logged in and here you are. This is what it looks like. And you're going to pick a free connection. So we're going to connect to the United States. And here is a bunch of different IP addresses to connect to. So just choose one and wait, wait. All right. So you're going to be connected to your VPN now, and it will allow you to now log into Ragnarok Online, no matter where you are in the world. So let's play. Uh, like I said, you may need to launch the VPN before the patcher. I don't know if it's going to let you patch before you launch the VPN, so you may need to take care of that first. Okay, so we have the game up. I know it's small, but you can go into the settings. I'll show you how to do that to change the resolution of the screen and to make it full size or full screen. Okay, I realized I never actually showed how to change the settings and make this full screen. So what you want to do is find your icon for the application like this on your desktop where it showed the new icon, I guess. Uh, right click it and open file location. That's how I find uh, my folder unless you know exactly where it was installed to. But you're just going to search for Gravity or Ragnarok Online and you should find it. Um, these are all of the system files. And you're going to look for Setup with the Ghost String. Open that. Yes. And here is your Setup. I think you should be able to just choose your resolution. Mine is the highest. And full screen mode. Ah, uh, that's it. Uh, sound settings. You can change this completely in game. Uh, this is the only thing you cannot change in game and you need to choose or change here. Uh, you can select your actual graphics card, which to be honest, I don't know that I ever even messed with this, but pick that. Uh, I have my screen size correct. I have full screen mode on. I don't know what mouse exclusive means uh, over here. Um, just more options, but you can change all of these in game. So you could turn the fog off to see clear. You can turn the auras off, etc., etc. But mainly screen size, full screen mode. Okay. And hit okay. And that's it. But from here, you can now log into the game. So go ahead and do that. Okay, I went ahead and logged in. Here is where you can choose from the servers and obviously there's only one choice, it's chaos. The other two are like dead. So go ahead, hit okay. And now you can make a character. So go ahead, click here. Um, you can change their hairstyle, whatever you like. Here is the hair color. Don't be one of those people that go with the default hair like this and like blonde. Customize your character. We always made fun of those people who chose the default hair color and style. Don't be that person. <laughs> so go ahead, customize your character, make them cute. You can choose boy or girl and you always have that choice so it's not like you just only go with girl. It used to be like that. And then here's Dorum, which is a new race. Um, they can only be summoners. It's, it's it's a cute little job. 
they're very overpowered so you'd have a very easy time leveling but i'm just gonna go with this character name her play aro 2023 create and here we go double click and here we are so you can play Ragnarok online now um if you run into any issues if you have any errors if something's not working if you have problems with the vpn just comment and i will try to help you the best i can um i, I ran into issues that i've never even seen before doing this so i can only imagine what kind of problems other people are going to run into but that's it um you make a Ragnarok Online account, you have to make your VPN account, have your VPN running, connect to the United States, and you should be able to log in. You will need to have the VPN running every time you log in. But that's it. Uh, if you're a new Ragnarok player, if you are an old returning player, I hope you enjoy. I will be making some new content very soon. I'm trying to get back into the game myself, but that's it for today. Thank you.